it's gone now. What's your name? <laughs> harder you try, the harder it sticks. It's nippy outside, so I'm going to be quick. Uh, this guy, you can see from the look on his face that, well, he was shocked that he couldn't remember his name. This week, we're going to see two skits from this guy. First is uh, Name Amnesia, as you saw there, quickly. And then I'm going to make him lie with everything he says. So keep watching inside and find out what the lesson is for this tutorial. Hi guys, my name is Terrell Mirza. I'm a hypnotist and clinical hypnotherapist. And every week I show you a little street hypnosis clip, usually when it's a bit warmer than this, but uh, then I break it down in a tutorial fashion and discuss some aspect of hypnosis, hopefully related to this clip. So I've got some little tenuous link to this one. I'm gonna be talking this week about what does hypnosis feel like? A lot of times people wake up uh, after I've hypnotized them and say, oh, I didn't feel like I was hypnotized, and yet they did some funny, crazy stuff. So what does it feel like to be in hypnosis? What are they talking about? I'm gonna discuss that in the tutorial section after the street hypnosis clip. So let's watch the street hypnosis clip first. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure to give it a like, and don't forget, click the big subscribe button and that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. And if you have any comments about this video, about the topic of discussion, or about anything you would like to see in the future, then leave it in the comment section below. I love reading your comments and love feeding back to your comments. So please do leave a comment in the comment section below. But in the meantime, let's watch the video. Even more relaxed, even deeper inside. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. In the count of three, your legs will become unstuck. Your legs will become unstuck just as quickly as your name sticks to the back of your mind. Just as quickly as your name sticks to the back of your mind. You know what it's like when you forget something, when you see someone on the TV and you say, I know that guy's name, but that name is gone now. That name is gone. It's stuck to the back of your mind. You cannot say it. It's like on the tip of your tongue, but you can't get it out. Nod your head that you understand. The more you try and say your name, the name's gone. One, two, three, open your eyes. There you go. Make sure you move your feet now. Wasn't that cool? I can move. And what's your name when you try and say it? It's gone now. What's your name? <laughs> the harder you try, the harder it sticks. What's your name? Uh, it's gone now. That's fucked. There you go. That's fucked. Notice what happens. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. When I touch your forehead, your name is Mary Sue. What's your name? Mary Sue. How do you name Mary Sue? Who named you Mary Sue? Your mum or your dad? Your mum? Very good. There you go. And... Uh, What's, what's your what's your surname? Boyd. It's gone. It's Daphne now. Mary Sue Daphne. Nod your head. What's your name? Mary Sue Daphne. There you go. There you go. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, and sleep now. Way down. Deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. Deeper you go. More relaxed you feel. More relaxed you feel. And deeper you go. In a minute, your name's going to come back to you fully. Your name's not going to be Mary Sue Daphne. Your name's going to come back to you fully. But just as quickly as your name comes back to you, you realise you are the world's best liar. You are the world's best liar, and everything you say is a total lie. And the harder you try to say anything that's the truth, the, harder, the more fun it becomes to just say that a lie. Nod your head that you understand. So one, two, three, open your eyes. So what's your name? Alex Boyd. What is it? Alex Boyd. Everything you say is a lie. Everything you say is a lie. What's your name? My brain's not fucked. <laughs> My brain's gone. What do you do for 11? Card games. Card games? Yeah. And uh, have you ever been to the moon? Yeah. And how did you get there? Rocket. Rocket. And uh, what, do you, what do you do What do you do you at the weekend? Rockets. Rockets. Built rockets. You build rockets. Uh, and is it fun building rockets? Oh, 100%. Uh, and are you married? Yes. Uh, do you have any kids? One. One. And what's his name? Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe. There you go. <laughs> and do you have a car? No. Uh, and uh, what's your favourite mode of transport? Flying. Flying. Very good. And sleep. Way down. Deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. And I'm going to count from one to three and count to three. You'll no longer be compelled to lie. You'll no longer feel you need to lie. Thanks for watching that video and thanks for staying tuned. So. Did you enjoy that video? 
What I liked about that video was when I dropped him back into hypnosis between the first skit, which was the name Amnesia, which went beautifully well, and I've talked about name Amnesia before, and then I went on to the everything you say will be a lie. Did you notice that just as I said, go back to sleep, he went to put his hands in his pockets and, and, and then did this sort of little jiggle with his hands and then put his hands in his pockets. Some people would look at that and say, well, he wasn't in hypnosis because he was moving around. Do you turn into a, a, a numb zombie? Do you not stop moving when uh, you're in hypnosis? Does everything go silent so you can't hear a thing? Maybe except for the hypnotist's voice. If cars are honking or your friends are laughing in the background, would you hear them? Well, the truth is, nothing really changes. You'll hear the sounds in the background. Uh, if I'm working with someone in a therapeutic setting and someone rings a doorbell or the postman knocks at the door, they'll hear it. It's just it won't disturb them in any way. And it's the same out in the streets. If there's a noise or a car backfires, they'll hear it, it just won't disturb them. Everything is as normal, except that I'm talking to you and not giving you suggestions. That's it. You don't feel like you're levitating and you don't feel any sort of strange sensation. And I think that's the problem with the um, Hollywood movies. They f make you feel like something really trippy is going on. I have to get personal and say I've never drank alcohol, uh, not for any religious reasons, I just never got started. Um, but So I've never been drunk, I've never had a hangover, so maybe it's because I don't know what that feels like, but you know, I think people have this idea that you're, you're in some sort of really trippy, either a drug or alcohol induced type stupor that, that you're not aware of exactly what's going on. In hypnosis you're totally aware. The truth is people go in and out of hypnosis on their own several times a day and, and they don't feel some trippy altered state. It's just they, you know, daydream slightly. But you'll still hear people calling your name and you go, what, did, did you call me there? Or whatever. There's no altered state to hypnosis. When you see people giggling and laughing, when you see him putting his hands in his pocket after I've told him to drop his eyes closed, that's normal. Often in the therapeutic setting, because it's an extended period of time, from time to time people will scratch their nose or scratch their face or whatever, or maybe even their shoulder, whatever. It doesn't mean they're popping out of hypnosis because there's no, you know, zombie-like feeling to going into hypnosis that people can't move, that people can't interact. People will mention many times, oh, that was very relaxing, but you don't need to be relaxed to go into hypnosis. Uh, I have another beautiful video where I was hypnotizing a girl and she said, I'm nervous. And I said, that's fine. Nervous can actually help you go into hypnosis. And I'll put a link to that in the end screens. So check, for, check out for that. So I don't know if you've more confused or whether I've answered your question, but really there's, there's no particular action or reaction to being in hypnosis. Throughout those skits that you saw, that gentleman, he had his eyes open when I said, what's your name? And he goes, oh, I, I, I don't know. He was in that state of hypnosis, but there was no particular sensation. He wasn't drowning out any other sounds. He wasn't levitating in the, into the air. He wasn't in any way different other than he was in that focused state of attention where he had accepted my suggestions. So I hope you understand that and I hope you had some fun watching that skit. So give this video a thumbs up, make sure you give it a like and don't forget, click the subscribe button and that bell notification next to the subscribe button. And if you have any comments about this video, please do ask me in the comment section below. Have I clarified what it feels like to be in hypnosis? Bottom line is, there is no particular feeling of being in hypnosis any more than there's a particular feeling to when you feel funny when you're laughing at a, a, a cartoon or a funny joke. So it's getting dark and I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you like this video. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a video coming up. It's this video here. It's going to be a girl who said, I'm nervous. And you can watch how I managed that situation and got her to feel good about going into hypnosis. In the meantime, see you next week. It'll probably be inside.